Why I chose Tad Performance Pipes for my Icon Revival. Let's talk about that. Let's get cracking. Good moto morning. Welcome to another episode of Kraken's Garage and I'm your host Eric and on Kraken's Garage we discuss all good things on two and three wheels plus some scooter and mini moto content as well. On today's episode we're going to install Tad Performance slip-on pipes on my Icon Revival and I'll talk about why I am loyal to this company and why maybe you should uh, think about this company when you're uh, purchasing your next set of pipes. Let's get to it. Welcome beautiful people. What we're gonna do is a time-lapse video on the installation because it's not very intriguing and uh, pretty basic maintenance on your bike. There's a thousand videos on YouTube on this topic on how to do it. What I am gonna talk about is Tab Performance and why I chose them. They are uh, two brothers that started up a company in Lincoln, Nebraska. Casey Flance is the owner that I have interacted with on my second purchase now. After spending quite a bit of time on the phone with them, I have a good feel. I'm very perceptive at reading people and, and that type of thing, uh, believe it or not, but uh, Casey is legit. They started in 2004, and believe it or not, they were very focused on V-Rods, on making performance exhaust systems for the V-Rod, and they still do to this day. So for all your V-Rod owners, you ought to take a look at their website and see what they have to offer. So we'll talk about this as we go along in the installation. Let's get to it. Casey will probably be mad at me for this, but uh, I'm gonna say it anyway. Uh, Casey and Tab Performance Incorporated supports veterans. Casey's wife is a veteran. I will generically say he goes to great efforts to help veterans, so something to consider for all you vets out there. I don't know if you've seen in some of my videos, up here is a uh, tin uh, sign for uh, Tab Performance mufflers. And I believe in the company that much enough to purchase a sign and post it on my wall of shame up here. They are the only pipes I will ever use. Are Tab Performance pipes the best that are out there? I don't know. Quite frankly, I don't care. I don't have deep enough pockets to buy Vance and Hines, uh, two brothers and 16 other kinds of pipes, put each one on my 900 pound bike and take it to a dyno to see which one performs the best. I really don't care. It's a 900 pound bike. You're kidding yourself if you think you're splitting hairs and gonna make some measurable difference with your pipe on a bike that weighs that much. If you're really gonna build that motor up into a super high performance 131 and that type of thing, then it would behoove you to chase down who has the best pipes out there. And I would arguably say tab performance would be in the mix. Something to consider. Pro tip, when you install any mufflers, whether they're brushed aluminum or chrome, carbon fiber, whatever, you're gonna leave a lot of handprints, fingerprints on it. Before you start and run the pipes for the first time, wipe them clean, or these uh, fingerprints, oily fingerprints, get embedded into the finish almost permanently. Very difficult to get off. Another reason why I chose Tab Performance is they have removable baffles. They have three different tiers. They have the zombie, they have the medium, and the quiet. I put the medium on my uh, Roadster XL1200CX, and I am also putting the medium on 
my Icon Revival. Why did I go with medium instead of the zombie that are super loud? Well, there's times when I'm creeping out of the neighborhood at five o'clock in the morning and I really don't need to disrupt all the neighbors just trying to get out of my neighborhood. But I would like a little bit of throatiness to the pipes when I get on the pipe or want to rev bumps in a tunnel or something like that, if that makes sense. So these fit my niche perfectly. But for $68.95, you can pop them out and pop in whatever you want and get the zombie all the way down to the quiet or whatever you prefer. So they're very serviceable. Two thumbs up from cracking on that one. Tad Performance uh, got started with making uh, V-Rods go very, very, very fast. They have expanded their horizons quite a bit. They now do exhaust, head pipes, slip-ons, air filters, intakes, fuel tuners and management systems, oil filters, stereo equipment, and speakers. I look forward towards their research and development on the next generation of motors that are coming down the pike here with the Revolution Max. Did you know that TAB Performance also makes pipes for Indian Chief, Challenger, Scout, Springfield, and Roadmaster? They also make them for the Yamaha Star Eluder and Star Venture. Since 2004, TAB Performance has gone to global shipping and now shipped to, out to six of the seven continents. They have distributors globally. In the lower 48, shipping is free. Something to consider. So for fear of sounding like an infomercial for TAB Performance, I'm not. I'm just an end user that purchases their products and believe in their mission statement, where they're going and what they provide. I think for the value for the dollar they provide a better pipe than most higher quality, and it's all made here in America and distributed here in America. Bear in mind, like I always say when I give a review of anything, it's just an opinion on the internet. Take it with a grain of salt. I'm only sharing my experience, what has worked for me, and it might work for you. I hope you'll give them a try and take a look. Save your box and bags when you uh, get through installing your pipes. I'm gonna clean these down to get, make sure I get all the fingerprints off. Then I'll put them in the bags and stow them in the box and put it on the shelf for possibly if I ever change them back or when I sell the bike, once again, the new owner will have every single nut and bolt and item that came with the bike the day it rolled off the uh, factory showroom floor. But Eric, you didn't put any exhaust tips on or end caps. You're right. They're on back order. They're gonna be here in about uh, two weeks. I have something different coming up on that uh, regarding the Icon Revival. It's not very often I have a nostalgic bike throwing back to the 60s uh, and call up a performance shop and say, hey, I need performance mufflers for my retro bike. And Tab was able to accommodate the direction I wanted to go. I'll save that for a future video. So that'll look forward to that one coming up in the near future. And to all my end watchers, this week's shout out goes to Boots and Jeans Riding. Willie and Melody have 4,590 subs and 205 videos out. In their resume, they have recently rode the world record poker run. They have done the four corners of the United States uh, several times on their gold wings. They're both rocking gold wings. And Melody's bike recently just turned over 100,000 miles. This young lady bought that bike with 200 miles on the odometer and she has flipped over the speedometer on it. Kudos to you, Melody. You are setting an example for women rider. I wholeheartedly support you. 
Willie and Melody are just a lovely couple and very congenial. Everybody that meets them finds a new best friend and that you can see them anywhere all over the United States because they are on the go. They do a lot of serious, serious riding and I uh, just love their content. We are just two people that love riding our motorcycles. We created this channel to share our motorcycle riding adventures. Hopefully our adventures will inspire you to visit some places we've had the pleasure of visiting. Over the past five years, we have ridden the lower 48 states four times and taken eight long distance coast to coast trips around the United States and Canada, including three Route 66 bikations. We have met many wonderful people and fellow riders and as we tell our stories, most would ask if we had a YouTube channel. Although we video all our adventures, we never thought of a YouTube channel until 2019. You may wonder why we named our channel Boots and Jeans Riders. Well, throughout our travels, we have visited over 125 national parks and monuments. While most people are dressed in casual wear, shorts, walking shoes, flip-flops, etc., we are usually the only two dressed in motorcycle boots and jeans, and yes, even on beaches. I hope you enjoy. Because they've ridden so many parts in the United States, they most likely have a video on an area that you're headed to if you're going to travel in this country, anywhere in this country, and see some of the highlights. Route 66, Maine, whatever, they got it covered. Check them out. I love them to death. Keep up the great work, guys. You're doing a great job, Melody. Mad props to you, young lady. Keep up the great content. And with that, there's my ghost dog, Daisy May. She's here to remind me to wrap up this video that is getting too long. So if you would like to become a Patreon, the link is listed down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you want to see more in the future, hit that subscribe button right down there in the corner. And remember folks, go riding. It's good for you and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.